the uh, Board of Public Works and Safety meeting for October 28th in the year 2021. Uh, roll call, please. Here. 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 Uh, are there any conflict of interest statements? No, sir. No. Sir. no. Approval of the minutes of the meeting of October 21, 2021. I make a motion to approve those minutes. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, bid openings, I don't think there are none, right? No, okay. No bid openings today. Let's, oh boy. Let's move right into matters from department head and or the representatives. Anything? Nothing, okay dope. Item seven, correspondence. Item A, correspondence received from Dean Button requesting the approval of the supplemental agreement number three for design engineering services with Beam, Longest, and Neff LLC for the Calumet LCR pedestrian bridge in the amount of $10,800 with funds allocated for from the American Rescue Plan Act. Mr. Good morning. Dean is unable to be here today, so I'm representing the engineering department. This is, what this is, is just a extra for some lighting to be done on a bridge. So it's a supplemental. It wasn't in their original contract. And the funding's coming from? ARP, it should be, have a, oh, ARP? ARP? Do you have a pink sheet? Uh, well, it's a copied gray sheet that was probably pink at the beginning. Good. Okay. No color copy. We're not spending money on color copy. Oh, no, it, it is marked pink in a pink marker. I should have saw that. That's the way to do it. Thank you. It is the way to do it. Quite elegant, by the way. Thank you. Yes. Uh, anything else, Mr. Gordish? No. So I recommend approval. Okay. Okay. I will make a motion to approve Mr. Button's request. I second. And I'll concur with that. Um, I'll approve. Uh, Mr. Button's probably a little hoarse this morning. He had quite an evening last night uh, with his vocabulary. He sure did. <clears throat> Item B, correspondence received from Dean Button requesting the approval of the agreement for professional services with Bean, Longest, and Neff LLC for the Calumet LCR pedestrian bridge in the amount of $406,200 with funds allocated from the American Rescue Plan Act. This is for construction supervision. It is going to be bid out in the near future, so we're getting everything situated with the contracts. So once the bids come in, we could approve it and start right away on a bridge at Calumet Avenue, okay, the pedestrian I would, bridge. I would also add that uh, there is a pink sheet, and it has been signed by the uh, city controller as well as the mayor. Okay, I will make a motion then to approve Mr. Button's request. Aye, favor. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item C, correspondence received from Jeffrey C. Smith, Fire Chief, requesting the following promotions. Battalion Chief Bernard Grizzolia be promoted to the rank of Assistant Chief. Engineer Ryan Anguiano be promoted to the rank of Battalion Chief. Private Edward Klingberg be promoted to the rank of Engineer, all effective October 27, 2021, submitted for approval. Make a motion to approve Chief Smith's request. Aye, second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Item D, correspondence received from Jeffrey C. Smith, Fire Chief, requesting the following promotions from probationary firefighters to private firefighters, Jeremy Olson, Richard Madsen, William Gray, Joshua Valencia, Timothy Creech, and Kyle Wright, retroactive to October 13th, 2021, submitted for approval. Make a motion to approve Chief Smith's request. Aye, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item E, correspondence received from William Short, Police Chief, requesting that Correctional Officer Brittany Maroda. Yes. Thank you having passed all the required training and probationary period, received the promotional raise due to her job description effective October 23rd, 2021, the resignation of civilian employee Jason, Jason Slyker, effective October 20th, 2021, and uh, correspondence from Purdue University Northwest, 
requesting EMA assistance for their four mile run on Saturday, November 13th, 2021, submitted for approval. Um, if I may add though, I, I recall last year when they did something similar to this that the neighbors weren't like truly notified that the run was gonna take place. And a lot of neighbors were upset by the fact they couldn't get out on certain roadways because of the roadblocks. Um, so we just need to make sure that somehow they notify the neighbors of the route that this is going to take place from these certain times. Um, I don't know, and I don't know. That's not your response. It's not. It, it isn't. But it's also they they are aware that they have two runs a year. They have a spring yeah. fling and a fall frolic. Yeah. And they're always the same time. And last year they didn't do it because of COVID naturally. But I thought most of the residents should be aware that this I mean, is an know, annual we event. Asked Brian Miller, I think, to, well, it wouldn't have been last year, so it would have been, what, 19? 19, 19, yes, sir. To notify, and I don't know if the notification ever took place. So I will reach out to Brian and make sure. Okay. Okay. But I heard that from a couple More. of neighbors that live over there that I know, unfortunately, and they weren't happy. Okay. I'll reach out to them All today, right. sir. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Brother. Thank you. Okay. Then I will, uh, we, you, or you're just adding, okay? We, were, we yeah. already paid that, right? Yeah. Okay. Did we did we motion? Um, that's what I'm. I can't remember. Did we motion on that? We did motion on that. Yeah, did we? Okay. Then I will make a motion then to approve approve yeah, Chief it. Short's request. Okay. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> Item F. <clears throat> Correspondence received from Dunnett Bay Construction requesting permission for right lane closure on southbound Kennedy Avenue on November first. 2021 at approximately 7.30 a.m. through November 5th, 2021 to 9 a.m. to repair a Hammond Force main. So this area is Kennedy Avenue north of the river, north of Wendy's, in that southbound lane. The sanitary district needs a fix and we are working with the district to tweak the fix. So it may not start on November 1st, second, it may be the second, but the fix is being looked at right now. So it's gonna take approximately five days and they'll have the traffic control out there. So I recommend so approval. So this is all groundwork, right? Underground. Underground, work, yes. Right. Okay. How much notice will they be able to give us, Mark? Yeah, you know? Well, we can notify the Nine emergency nine. services but we are working on a fix. We took a look at it yesterday and it still needs to be tweaked a little bit. Okay. So they will notify us and we'll notify the appropriate personnel. So just be one lane southbound. One lane southbound, that's side, all. Right? Okay. 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 Good. Yep. Thank okay. you. Okay. I will make a motion to approve uh, Donna Bay's request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item G, correspondence received requesting rental restoration hearing. Make a motion to set that for uh, December 2nd, 2021. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item eight, uh, matters from board members. Uh, do we have anything? Mm, no, no, sir. No? no. Johnny? Sir. Okay. Item nine, new business. Right of way permits submitted for approval from engineering. Let the, rec let the record reflect that Mark Gordish gave the thumbs up from the crowd. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the right of way permits. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item B, notice a violation hearing for property located at 1322 121st Street. Good morning. Uh, we inspected the property last month and came to find that the property contained a basement apartment and it doesn't meet the minimum requirements for habitation, no ceiling height, egress windows, and there were no permits to account for the creation. The owner has already cooperated with removing the unit. We just need the board to approve the findings. Again, the, the, the owners are, they're all fine with, yes. with the changes. Okay, good. Yep. Okay, then I will make a motion to, uh, the, uh, to approve the notice of violation. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. We got the word in, right? Elephant? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. 
Item C, rental registration hearing for property located at 7525 Bertram Avenue. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the company that owns the property is pretty small. Uh, five of the office employees, um, two of them were sick last year with COVID, which overlap um, work for the office. So we ended up forgetting to pay the registration fee. Uh, how many properties does this small company own? Um, about 100. And this is the only one that slipped through the cracks? Um, since 2013, I have copies we've always paid. Nick? Yeah, we have, uh, they've owned since um, August 30th of 13. It's a single family home. We're here for 2021. Um, there was two prior uh, situations in 2014 where a late fee was assessed um, after being sent through Smith Services Office. And then in 2017, uh, there was a Board of Public Works uh, late fee appeal hearing in which the Board of Public Works waived the late fee in 2017. For this for, for this property or just others? Yeah, no, for this property. Now, they, I did notice they were they are registered with the Illinois uh, Secretary of State. Uh, there's some other property addresses here. However, when I looked at them through um, Lake County, it doesn't appear uh, that any other properties in the city of Hammond are listed under their ownership, although the Secretary of State list is like 620 through 628 Sibley, uh, 3218 and a few others. But when I pull up those ownership information um, in Lake County, they don't appear as the property owners. So you've owned the property since 2013? Uh, I believe so. I'm sorry, it's new management as well. So we got oh, so new employees last tw late 2019. Can you explain the hiccup up and down as to why some were paid, what some weren't paid over the last eight years? No, no, I, I wasn't even aware. I'm sorry. <coughs> 14. They applied at 17. They waived it. Yeah, in 2014, the property went through the Smith Services Office for um, kind of collecting the lease. We've been good, we've been good since then. Yeah, since 17, but yeah. You thinking okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to make a motion to waive the late fee, but ma'am, I, I will let you know that if you come before the board again for that address, uh, it probably will not happen next time. I mean, it's I don't know what's going on every three years, but it's got to get paid, obviously. So uh, I'm going to make a motion to waive it for this for 2021. Um, and you can pay that at the end of the meeting today if you'd like. Thank you. Thank you. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item D, rental registration hearing for property located at 1122 Becker. Uh, Mr. Lofton. So we have this property is a uh, single, or actually, I'm sorry, it's a two unit property front and rear. Um, I did speak with Mr. Lofton uh, when he appeared uh, down in the office. Um, Due to insinuating circumstances with a family member who was in charge of managing the property, uh, she had fallen ill um, and was unable to recover, at which point in time uh, the family was dealing with um, those arrangements and therefore the property went unregistered. Uh, it would be my recommendation to the board to waive the late fee for 2021 and allow uh, Mr. Lofton to uh, register the property at the regular rate of $5. This is the only time uh, the property has been late. They have registered on time from 2006 through 2020. Okay. Okay. Good, Kev. Yeah. Okay. I will then make a motion to uh, to waive the late fee for 2021 for both units. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ooh. That's an elegant looking car there, man. But you guys, you guys acquired it. <laughs> nice. Very well. Item, <laughs> item E, disposal authorization submitted by the Hammond Police Department. Finest around. Uh, I will make a motion to approve the disposal authorizations. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
Item F, plot for the resubdivision of 167th Street and Southeastern Avenue addition submitted for approval. Uh, Mr. Would you have any idea? Uh, no, I believe that uh, Mr. Poland submitted this and just needs it signed. This has got to be. Oh, it's, um, it's, it's either for the um, resub of the. Um, lockers? Uh, the new lockers, yeah. But no, I think actually Myers might have expanded and it might be a resub uh, over there. The west side, yeah. right? Yep. Right? Yeah. Okay. So, so we just need that approved and signed, I think. Okay. okay. Then I will make a motion to approve that, uh, the plot for the re uh, subdivision. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, moving right along to uh, item 10 old business status, 820 Bower Street. All right, good morning. Morning. Um, this is Mr. McKinley, of course. Uh, thanks for making the trip down again. Hope your trip to where, Arizona. Where are you? Uh, no, Miami Beach. Miami Beach. Okay. Oh. I know it's somewhere <laughs> a lot more fun than where we've been in the last Miami. three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was going to be a good place. Um, uh, I think what we wanted to do here was just uh, have Mr. McKinley uh, come back in um, to give us an update on. Um, his conversation, if he had any, with Mr. Golding. I also made sure that Mr. McKinley's information uh, is now a point of contact. I think Nick put it in Zone Pro, so we should be good to go. Uh, we just wanted to check and see if there was any issues with the property, Nick. Are we good? Okay, so um, kind of given that, um, what we probably want to do, when you, when's your hearing? December 9th? December 9th. Okay, and usually it takes about six weeks um, to get the tax deed after that. I mean, if the county's working diligently, which maybe it's eight weeks. Um, and then I assume you want to uh, go ahead and get it rehabbed and, and going, right? Yep. So Nick, what do you think, or Kelly or Nick, what, what's the, um, what do you think the timeline should be for an inspection? Maybe we'll set it. And I think after you get the petition granted in December, you can then um, enter, is that correct? Once I get the deed. So, okay, check with Mr. Golding, because sometimes they'll let you. Okay. All right, check, because I'd like to get that demo inspection. Okay. Okay. So could we set this for a January date? Um, maybe the end of January? We got the 27th. Does that work for you, Mr. Killing? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll yeah, the 20th, 27th. Both yeah, maybe we'll do the 27th and make that'll get at least seven weeks from the hearing date. 27th That's of Thursday. January? It is. Yeah, we're always here on a Thursday. Okay. Does that work? It worked for me. 27th. So that by that time, hopefully, and Mr. McKinley, all, all I would ask you to do is um, as soon as you either determine from Mr. Golding that you could enter that property after the hearing on the 9th, okay. or if it's when you get the deed, okay. as soon as that happens, could you please make sure to schedule that and pay for that demo inspection okay. so we can get the rehab um, agreement? Hopefully, it'd be great if we could have it in front of the board on that 27th date. Okay, great. All right, good. I think we're good. So just for status that day? Just for status on the 27th. Yep, 27th of January. Does that work, Nick? Uh, it'd be downstairs. Actually, Bill Luther, it's Kelly, uh, Mr. Scott. Kelly's department. Mm -hmm. Bill Luther would be the person who's going to do the inspection. Get I want to make sure we get done quickly. Okay, well, there you go. That's why we need to do Okay. Okay. Thank you, board. Thank you. Uh, Three times. Where you been? And I'm gonna I'm gonna make a motion to uh, set that over for status to January 27th, 2022. Whew. 2022. God darn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, oh, item 11. Meeting's open to the public. Oh, is there something else? What did I miss? Oh, 20 Island. Inspection up. So the um, the request uh, for a consideration to waive the late fees for the property was did not denied. However, of findings and decisions was not uh, prepared. I apologize. So it's there. So it's done. We just got to sign it. Yes. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Am I signing it for today's last week's date or today's date? Uh, today. Last week. Well, okay. I, I put, I, I okay. I got it. Okay. Okay, item 11, meetings open to the public. Anybody here? Those that are here to settle uh, rental registration stuff will take care of it as soon as we adjourn the meeting. Okay, I will make a motion then to adjourn the meeting. Okay. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.
Thank you all.